Learn how Captain Rob designs and creates custom thumbnail images. Ahoy! I'm Captain Rob Lee, and welcome to Pirate Lifestyle TV. Arr! <laughs> I have received lots of requests to explain exactly how I make my thumbnail images. Before I forget, be sure to click on subscribe so you don't miss a single video. Okay, so in this video, I will show you exactly how I do it. You will see every single step to design and create the thumbnail for this video. Not all users have the ability to upload thumbnails. If you can upload your own custom thumbnails, you will have a special fourth thumbnail located on the video edit page. Here is a picture of what it looks like. If you do not see this, then YouTube hasn't enabled uploading thumbnails on your channel. I like to use GIMP. It's a downloadable editor, and I'll put a link in the description below. I create a blue bright background. It's blue at the top and fades to white at the bottom. You can make yours whatever color fits your videos. The thing is you just want it to be really bright and minimal in colors. The second thing is you need a alpha channel screen. So I just opened one up and I deleted it out. So you, this is an alpha channel which is transparent on the background. And then here's the image we're going to upload. So we've got our three screens, our new background image, our alpha channel, and the thumbnail that we're going to use to create. And you can see how busy the background is with the seat and everything that's in the boat. So I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to cut myself out of this picture and use that in the, the custom thumbnail. So you can see where I'm tracing along the outside, and I'm going to speed this way up so it goes faster. The point here is you want to create a thumbnail that is really bright and clean with a minimal of information so that people can see it because it's so tiny. And you want a bright background and then the images that represent the content of your video. And it's best, you know, if you can zoom in on something so it's a nice clean picture that will grab people's eyes. As I trace around this, if you have to make a, quote, mistake, you want to go to the outside of what you're tracing. That's what we'll use that alpha channel for because you can clean up the image if you need to. So just keep tracing all the way around whatever content you want to use in your thumbnail. And you can use content that represents. So you could use a clip art image or something else if it represents what's in your video. You don't have to use content that is absolutely in the video, but it must. YouTube requires it to represent. All right, so we've traced around the image, and it's all selected here. So I'll zoom out, and you can see how I've selected me, and all the background will go away. I'm going to copy myself. And now I'm going to paint that on this alpha channel, and we'll shrink it down a little bit so it fits on the channel. You want a little bit of the transparent image all the way around. And once this is selected on here, I'll anchor it down. Then we'll zoom in, and you can double check your, your border on your image, and if there's a little extra in there that doesn't belong, you can just use the eraser tool and erase it. All right, let's get this centered. And now let's uh, anchor it down. We'll zoom in. And on my ear here, there's a little bit of a dark shadow from the wood background that was in the sailboat where the image got blended a little. So we'll just clean that out. And you look around, up and down, go all around your image. And when you've got it the way you want it, then you copy this. And then you save this here just to, in case you need to go back and start over if you if you goof up on your your thumbnail that you're making. So now we'll copy that, and now we go to our 
clean background image and we paste it in here and we'll shrink it down a little bit so that it fits on the screen and then you can play around a little bit with it you know move it over to the right move it over to the left you can turn it angle it with the different functions of your, your software put it over in the corner so I'm going to put it over on the right side and scooch it over a little bit to give myself plenty of room for some text. And we'll tip it just a little to straighten it up. Anchor that down. Now we'll switch to the text. And when you make a text, you want to use a real simple text. I have one that's sort of piratey looking for my channel. And we'll just type in Captain Rob creates a custom thumbnail. Then we'll move it around, make it bigger, make it little, or center it, do whatever it takes to to get it the way that we want it, to make it look really nice. And so there we'll go, we'll center it, make it a little bit bigger. And once it's exactly the way we want it, we double check everything. It, you know, we can back up if we want to move the picture or whatever anchor it all down, save it. I like to save it as a PNG file. That retains the information better. JPEGs you lose a little bit in the compression phase. PNGs are a little better, especially where you have the text. And now YouTube allows the images to be larger in size. They used to be 256, but now they can be bigger. All right, so here we go to YouTube now, and I'm going to scroll down and just pick a video that does not have a custom thumbnail, so you can see what that looks like. So here you go. You click on Edit Info, and here's the picture I had at the beginning. You can see that fourth thumbnail. Click on Upload. Come over to the pictures where we have it saved. Select the thumbnail we just created, and there it is once it loads. And if I clicked Save, it would, would load it there, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to put that thumbnail on this video. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this Pirate Lifestyle TV video. Please, if you have any questions at all about custom thumbnails, ask in the comments. I will do my best to help you. With the help, me goal be to motivate and stimulate ye friends to be living the pirate lifestyle.